Arabica and Robusta. You've probably seen these names on TV, in ads, or on your coffee packet. But what do they mean? How can you tell the difference between them? And what does it mean for your cup of coffee? So grab some coffee and let's dive into it. First, let's clear up some confusion about Robusta. Technically, we're talking about a species called Coffea canifora, which has several varieties, with Robusta being the most well-known. That's why you often hear about Robusta rather than canifora. Start from the beginning, Arabica and canifora, the species that includes Robusta, are the two main coffee species grown worldwide, both originating from Africa. Arabica thrives in cool climates at high altitudes, between 600 and 2400 meters, typically in mountainous and volcanic regions within the tropics. In contrast, Robusta prefers lower altitudes, often found on plains, with major production areas being Vietnam and West Africa. Arabica has many varieties, including the famous Mocha, Bourbon, and Tipica. Aside from the popular Robusta, Canifora includes other varieties, like Canelon and Nana. Now let's talk caffeine. Robusta has a higher caffeine content than Arabica. Arabica is a delicate plant that's susceptible to pests, but Robusta, growing at lower altitudes, faces more insect threats. Its high caffeine content acts as a natural insecticide, making it robust, hence the name. All right, now you know a bit more about these species, but how do you tell them apart? Visually, Arabica beans are typically elongated with an S-shaped groove, while Robusta beans are more rounded with a straight groove. Aromatically, 100% Arabica beans is known for its complex. Robusta, on the other hand, provides a fuller body with flavors of toasted bread, wood, and it's more bitter. So why blend them? Robusta is often added to blends to balance the coffee, offering intensity and body the strong espresso kick. Arabica and Robusta blends are also great for milk-based drinks, preserving the full range of coffee aromas. Don't worry, you can still find high-quality Robusta, even a specialty coffee, like the Colobus from Café Luga. We've included links in the video description for those of you who want to try top-notch Arabica and Robusta blends. To wrap this up, let's tackle some frequently asked questions. Which coffee should I drink if I like Italian espresso? We recommend a dark or very dark roast with an 80-20 or 70-30 Arabica to Robusta blend. Which coffee is the strongest? Be careful not to confuse intensity and strength. Intensity depends on the coffee bean's composition and roast, while strength relates to the aromatic profile. Robusta may lack aromatic complexity, but it's strong and intense. Which coffee is less bitter? Traditionally, Arabica is sweeter and more acidic, while Robusta is more bitter and full-bodied. However, roasting also affects bitterness. Darker roast will be more bitter than a light roast. Now you know how to differentiate Arabica and Robusta. Let us know what else you'd like to learn. See you soon and enjoy your coffee.